Hi guys, it's me. Sorry I've been on hiatus so long. A combination of not having any editing software and a lot of stuff happening in the personal life has meant I've been out of doing videos for about a year now. But good news is we're back. This video is showing you how I make my custom Funko Pops. If you're not aware of these, I make and sell them on my brand new website, link in the description, please check it out. This one in particular is Mr. Clips, the bad guy from the short film Jester. You've probably seen a lot of videos about it on my channel, and if you haven't, please check it out. It's a really good short film. As you can see, I start the process with a blank pop vinyl Funko Pop and I start sculpting in the details with a white air drying clay. This particular one is called Das, D-A-S, and you can pick it up from Hobbycraft or any kind of craft shop really, it's nice and easy to get hold of. When the details are exactly how I want them, and that's everything right down to the teeth, because I'm a perfectionist, it's important to dry it in layers to make sure that every part is set how it should be. There's nothing worse than thinking you've got something right and then ruining it with a little heavy-handedness. Believe me, I've done that a lot of times. With all the details done, it's time to get to painting. When I'm painting anything, I like to use acrylic paint because it's easy to work with, mixes nicely, and is generally pretty forgiving. One thing I have learned though, is it is very important to do the lightest colours first. Here, that was the flesh tones, the white of the suit, and the grey of the shoes. This is because it's easier to cover over the edges of a light colour with a darker colour than it is vice versa. With the light colours done, it's time to do the dark blues, the dark greys, the blacks, and with a very steady hand, making sure all the lines are perfect. Again, remember to do it in stages. With the body done, it's time to work on the little details. And I find it so much easier to make these separately and stick them on later than it is to do it all as one piece. Here I'm making tiny little needle teeth that I'm painting white and gluing in with super glue. This model in particular took me a few days to get right, simply because of how detailed it was. But there he is, all finished. And if you'd like your own custom Funko Pop, you can order them off my website, phoebexstudios.co.uk.